guys, I'm Teresa Sterling and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another review video. You guys really were opinionated on my last review video and I also promised that I would do this one so I wanted to uphold my promise and give it to you guys. Today I'm going to, I didn't even bring it out of the bag yet, like, woo, woo girl. Today I'm going to review the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. And I am super pumped about this because as we all know, she's a fellow YouTuber, she's one of us, and any one of us I support because it's awesome that we do this. Quickly before I get into this video, I just want to say that if you guys don't agree with my opinions, that's fine because they're my opinions. Um, I also didn't really mention this in my last video and I should. The last video I'm talking about is my highlighter video where I reviewed the Kylie highlighters. This is like totally off topic, but in Kylie's boxes, the top, they all are like engraved with the name, except for cotton candy cream. When you pull it back, the sticker, it says first date. So that's interesting, which I saw on Jeffree Star's Twitter. I mean, Dr. Star's Snapchat, and um, I saw it all over Twitter. So I wanted to see if that was true, and it is. Totally off topic, but it kind of relates back to my last video. If you guys want to check that out, I think it's kind of cool. But anyway, like I said, I didn't really explain this very well in my last video. Everyone likes highlights differently, and I feel like the trend right now is to like be blinding. Personally, for me, I don't like that look um, on myself. I think a lot of people pull it off beautifully, and they look amazing. But with me, I like it to be strong, but I don't like it to look like I have tinfoil on my face. Um, to me, that look is not cute on myself. Um, like I said, so many people pull it off so well, but I'm not one of those people. So when I look for highlighters, I look for highlighters that are glowy and iridescent and pigmented and strong um, and give me a glow to my skin. I don't want to look like I have like a shooting star on my face. If that's the kind of look that you like, that's awesome. But just know that if highlighters have to be built to that level, I don't build them to that level. Um, which is why I think a lot of people, when I reviewed the highlighters, were like, girl, like stop lying, like those do not have a glow. Um, but I saw a glow and I loved the glow that these gave. They were really, really pretty in my opinion. So keep that in mind when I review this highlighter palette today. Everyone likes their glow to a different level. It's personal preference, but you could definitely build upon your glows and your swatches, so on and so forth. Now that I got that out of the side, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I upload content seriously all the time. Ask anyone in the family, make sure you guys subscribe. You guys don't want to miss anything. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit review swatches first impressions. I also have two more little items in this box here. Um, I also got the new Cover FX colors. They're custom enhancing drops. I got Celestial, which isn't new, but I got Halo, which is new. So if you guys want me to do a video about this, I have to swatch this just like really quick. It's like holographic. So if you guys want me to do a video on that, like let me know and I will so do that. Oh my God. I don't care if you guys say yes, I'm doing a video on this. This will be like my next video. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, let's get on to what this video is really about. All right, so obviously we all know who Nicole is. I don't really feel the need to explain it. This is what the packaging looks like, yada yada, like every other glow kit. Okay, I'm not really gonna go too in depth with the packaging. Ooh. Girl, okay, so this is what it looks like right when you open it up. Take the plastic off, and this is what you're left with. Gorge. The only thing I wish this palette would add to it is a mirror. This is just a lot of wasted space right here. I always wish they had a mirror, but these are the shades that we have Kitty Cat, Forever Young, Daydream, Forever Lit, Glow Getter, and 143. Um, the brush that I always use to apply my highlighters with is the Anastasia A23. I bought this brush in Sephora next to the glow kits. I just picked it up one day. I was like, okay, this looks good. And I've used it ever since. I really love it. Let's do some swatching, shall we? I'm just gonna go down the row. First off is Kitty Cat. Mm -hmm. Forever Young. 
Next up is Daydream, which I don't have any highlighter that is the color like Daydream. They feel very buttery and rich and creamy and thick, which is really, really nice. Forever Lit. Let's see if I hold it up like this, I should swatch it right there. Next up is Glow Getter. I'm wiping my, I'm cleaning my finger off every time with a makeup wipe in between, so don't worry. It's clean every time. I know I'm going to love on my lid. I already know I'm gonna put this on my lid. They all swatch absolutely beautifully. Like I said, the texture of them is very nice. It feels very rich. All right, let's just get right into it. I'm excited to get these on my face. Obviously, I only have two cheekbones, so I can't swatch all of them on my cheeks. I'm gonna put Forever Young on my cheek first. There really isn't much fallout at all, which is Really, really nice. I mean, it's very creamy. All right, so Forever Young is going right here. See, that's so pretty. That's like a nice, subtle glow. And that's the kind of glow that I love. And then obviously you can build it up more and have it be a little more blinding. But do you see how when I look forward, you can see where this highlighter is on my cheek and then I turn to the side and it's like, there it is. I mean, it's not like blinding, it's, I mean, on camera, it's not very blinding. Like, in person, it's pretty blinding. I'm very anxious to get um, Kitty Cat and Daydream on my cheek, so I'm actually gonna mix the two and get them on my other cheek. I really wanna see how they perform together. So again, it's nothing crazy, but this one is much more toned down than this one. And then you turn to the side and you can see it. Again, on camera, it's a little um, blurred out, but in real life, it's like, it's there. But do you guys see what I'm talking about? How like, with this cheek, you can see where I put the highlighter, and with this cheek, it's a little bit more muted. That's kind of the look that I like. Okay, I always like to put highlighter above my eyebrows, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take Glow Getter. I'm trying to use every color. I'm gonna take Glow Getter, and just put this right above my eyebrow. Just like lift it up. That's so nice. Let's move on to the eyes. I'm gonna take Forever Lit, and pop this on my inner corner. Oh, yes, you guys, you guys see that difference, right? Inner corner highlight like changes lives, like truly, honestly, lives do change for the better. I'm gonna put it right underneath my brow bone as well. I'm gonna take Glow Getter again, put it down the bridge of my nose. Get some on my weak chin. Okay, this is a bit much. Maybe I should just buff it in with my finger a little bit. I feel like a disco ball right now, but I'm okay with it. And then I'm just gonna take 143 on my finger, which is like that deeper bronzy shade. I'm just gonna put this on my lid. I already have a lid color on. I just wanna deepen it. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Okay, I literally feel like a disco ball right now. Did I even like swatch these enough? Did I even like convince you guys of anything? I feel like I'm really bad at these kind of videos. So this is what my face looks like after I tried out an entire highlighting palette. Um, I think in the end, this is a really great palette. The colors are a little unique. Honestly, I can only see myself really using these, especially this bottom row, the top row. I wouldn't go in the store and look at buying especially these two colors, but I'm glad that I have them. So I think this palette is good because you get four like neutral highlight tones and then you get two like fun highlight tones to kind of play around with and see if you like them, if you don't like them. But yeah, overall, I think these are really, really great. Um, I haven't heard of many people getting bad batches of these either, so that's awesome. They're pretty consistent all around the board, which is important. I would say it's pretty intense. Um, I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna be like, that's nothing. 
But like I said, it's all dependent on how you like your glow. If you build this up, it could definitely get much more intense and like in your face and like, whoa. I like this palette. I would recommend it. I think it's really great. Um, if you're new to highlighters, grab this and you're gonna get your good mix of glow and if you wanna build it up, you can and you're gonna get a great color range as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what other videos you can see. If you guys missed my highlighter video that I'm talking all about, it's right here, just click right here. And if you guys wanna see my very last video, that's right here. Thank you guys so much and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.